So uh, Carlos here for the first time. Let's see if all that experience pays off. So all he's, he is older, he's heavier, he's slightly shorter, and he's certainly more experienced. Carlos Holberg, 10 fights, just the one loss, 8 KOs. La Uli, 31 victories, 9 losses, 7 KOs. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is the finals of the Universal Imports King of the Ring 8-Man Eliminator Series. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He enters the ring wearing black trunks with silver trim. He weighed in at 98.5 kgs. He's a boxer, kickboxer, and mixed martial artist. Straight off the rack from China. He, uh, he was with City Kickboxing in Auckland. He now has nine wins, one loss, with two big wins coming by way of KO. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Carlos Ladies Night Alberg! Crowd is the the in the right in corner. In favor of, of the ETK fighter. 99.4 kgs, a former TBA heavyweight, IKBF pro and WMC pro super heavyweight. Representing elite Thai kickboxing, he now has 31 wins, nine losses, with six big wins coming by way of KO. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Nato Hard Knocks La A to the center ring, please, for the Rebels' instructions. All right, guys, first of all, you are both going to be able to protect yourselves at all times. Listen to my instructions. Obey my instructions. When I call break, stop throwing. Stay away from each other until I say fight. Shake them up. Best of luck. Back in your corner. Oh, Dan Hooker, Oldberg versus La Auli. Who do you favour and why as we head into this King in the Ring final? Yeah, it's a tough matchup. Uh, youth versus experience. Uh, we've got the two tallest guys in the competition that made it to the final. Open stance fight. NATO coming in and starting off early with their lead left hand. conventional stance. Holberg rattled the cage early, took the kicks out of the equation, went downstairs too with a left rip to the body. He's forcing La Uli to spinning hook kick there, doubling up on the low kicks. He's curling that right hand around the guard. Earlier on, before he started drifting to his... There's a big right hand that caught La Uli coming in. He took it very well. Laoli trying to find range with the kicks again, but he's been forced to be weary of the power of Olberg. And uh, interesting, he didn't throw the low kicks there because Olberg was on the ropes and he was in the right opportunity, in the right position to throw. Short right hand from Olberg. Laoli coming with the left hook over the top of that. I think NATO needs to respect Carlos's power a little more. He's, he's on the inside of his lead foot. And he's really just trying to walk him down. Uh, Carlos' lead leg is injured, but it's the outside of the lead leg, which makes it quite hard to hit for a, a, a southpaw walking in. Well, the other thing is if you go to the, there's that left kick to the body, and that's what Laoli needs to do more of. Oldberg is checking, cross-checking with his inside leg there, catching him with a couple of right hands. Laoli's got a good chin. Eats another right hand, and he's throwing wild now. And starting to get a bit dirty, rubbing up the face with the forearms. This is good signs for Holberg because La Uli is losing his rag a little, losing his composure because he's being picked off. Yeah, it worries me that Carlos is landing that straight right so clean. I'd like, to, like to see a straight knee actually down the middle uh, yep. from Olberg. Just a nice straight right knee. I'd like to see Carlos mix it up. There goes your straight knee. Uh, mix in the kicks, knees, and that'll open up that right hand even more. There's those teeps, that'll suck the wind out of you. And Laoli, he's, he's trying to make it into a brawl on the inside, but uh, Olberg has managed to dictate it so far. Goes to the back leg there, 
slightly unorthodox, but it's working for him. He's controlling the lead hand too, winning the lead hand battle. And uh, that's confusing Laoli as well. Controlling the lead hand against the South. Couple of straight right hands. And Laoli over the ring and out. The count is there. He's struggling. He's glassy eye. He's flailing in the winds. Can he make it up? John the Rebel Conway looking extremely close. Nice, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. He's right over us ringside. And the bell couldn't have sounded at a better moment. Precision down the tubes with the straight right hand. Carlos Olberg really turned the tables, and that bell rang at the perfect time for Lao Uli. Great compo uh, composure from Carlos Olberg there. All of that power was set up and controlling him off his lead hand. Look at the composure in the corner now, too. Let's have a look at that. And it was a pair of right hands. A shot right hand, doubled up on it. And he's got a very heavy right hand, Carlos Olberg. See how Carlos is sticking him in the face with his lead hand. And that's blinding NATO for Carlos's power. He's putting it in there. He's disrupting uh, NATO's forward pressure and setting up that power punch. Well, let's see how he recovers through heading into this uh, second round because he was badly hurt. And uh, people always talk about, Dan, they're they talk about around, around. The, the straight right hand against Come the southpaw, but they ignore two. the fact you need to control the lead hand to get the straight right hand off. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. No, no, straight right hand there. Let's see if Naoli no, can hold on now. Hey. No, 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 no. And there he's down. The count is given. Let's see if Naoli no, can make it up. He is rattled badly. Olberg looking to his corner. Rebel Conway looking closely. He's hurt. Big straight right hand again. Left hook there. Another left hook. Referee's got to be looking closely. Not only some kind of tough. And that's it. It's all over. The new king. Ladies night. Carlos Olberg. Nato Laoli couldn't recover from a pair of straight right hands late in the first round. And Carlos Olberg overcame adversity. He overcame the damage to the leg in the second round. Laoli, he was dominant in his first two fights. But Olberg used his range well. He picked off his shots. And he found a way to stop the first phase of Nato Laoli and finished it with a beautiful coup de grace knockout. All respect to Nato. Uh, he's as tough as he come, getting up from those big punches, uh, absorbing them and keep walking forward. All respect to Nato as well. Uh, he has a granite chin. He took some big, big shots. Nato Laoli, he's been here before. He's never in a fight that isn't exciting. The South Four from Wellington has been responsible for some of the most exciting fights in King in the Ring. Tonight was no different. Just couldn't quite recover after that brutal pair of right hands from Olberg. He does have heavy, heavy hands. And the young man from the City Kickboxing Gym takes his record to 10 wins, just a single loss, but impressive in that. He actually has nine KOs. So clearly, he's a man who can finish a fight. Fighters to the center ring, please. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, with 41 seconds gone in the second round, the Rebel John Conway calls a stop to this contest for your winner by TKO and the